Well, hey, everybody. It come for egg. Just doing a video to show off my top 10 Whitey Ford cards in my PC. Good friend of the channel, Yankees Cards, our president, Jerome, wants to see the uh, 10 best cards uh, in your PC, whoever you PC. I have a lot of PCs, but I wanted to show Whitey Ford, especially since, you know, he's a Yankees fan. So, uh, like I said, if you can't afford to uh, collect Mickey Mantle, which I can't, uh, collect his drinking buddies. So let's just jump right into it. Congrats on uh, 700 plus subs, Jerome. You deserve it. Card number 10. We'll get right into it. You know, I collect Yankee slabs, especially playing day cards of the greats. Like I said, here's uh, Mickey Mantle's drinking buddy, Whitey Ford, and a 1962 Tops All Star card. The original uh, kind of cool wood border cards there. Love that card. Really like it. Decent grade for the year. So that's number 10. Number 9 is this uh, 2001 SP Authentic Cuts card. And a big swatch there. It's all yellowed over time and uh, Yankee pinstripe. And uh, yeah, like those old school relics. You have received a game used uniform trading card from the Upper Deck Company, LLC. On the front of this card, it is an authentic piece of game used uniform worn by Whitey Ford in an official Major League Baseball game. And I love it. I got it in a magnetic here, so you could take it out whenever you want. You could just smell it and touch it. It smells like the 50s or 60s, man. Just a different time, but... uh. Love that card. Love any relics of the old-time Yankee greats. So, ladies and gentlemen, that is card number nine. Uh, card number eight. Uh, back to that 1962 top set I like so much. Uh, Ford tosses a curve. This is uh, card number 315 in the set. I got this off of eBay. Somebody sent it in for grading. It got a five on the grade, but the most important thing here is you're looking at that, uh, you know, Bic pen uh, autograph there of uh, Whitey Ford, you know, which I, I kind of dig, you know, everybody signs in Sharpie nowadays, but if you ran into Whitey Ford in the 60s or 70s or 80s and needed to get his autograph, all you'd really probably have is a pen, so this is kind of a sign of the times, so I really dig that, it's not the uh, boldest uh, Whitey Ford autograph in my collection, but I just totally dig it. I like that it's a ballpoint pen. I like that the guy graded the card because it made me get it for a better price. And so that is card number eight. Uh, card number seven, we're kind of going up in years here, is uh, 1957 tops. Beautiful shot of the chairman of the board doing his uh, kind of famous pose there that you see. Uh, got a five on it, probably because it's uh, so miscut, top to bottom and left to right. But otherwise, it is a beautiful piece. Love that card. He was there in military service in 51 and 52. Thank you for your service, sir. But uh, Whitey Ford, still alive. Uh, I think he's one of the oldest living Hall of Famers. So thank you, Mr. Ford. Next, we're going to go with uh, 1956 Tops. Love this set. Love the design. Who doesn't? Beautiful vintage card. Graded a four. Uh, might be a little undergraded. I don't know. It's, it's nice. It's sharp. There's beautiful color on it. Again, a little bit miscut. There's the back for you of Edward Charles Ford. Man, love the look of that card. I bought a bunch of vintage uh, Whitey Fords uh, raw and then sent in the best ones myself to get graded. So great looking card, great looking slab. So I like that his, uh, his name is quoted there, Whitey Fords. You know, that wasn't his given birth name. But that's it. That's number uh, number five, right? Yeah, I think it's number five. One, two, three. No, that was uh, number six. This is number five. <laughs> this is number five. The old color TV card. Love the 1955 Bowmans. Here's a great example in a, a very good to excellent plus 4.5. Nice shot of Whitey Ford there. Really cool. Gotta love the vintage cards. I love modern too. I have a ton of PCs. I collect vintage, modern, anything that that kind of catches my eye will find its way into the PC, but very glad to have that Whitey Ford there. Uh, number four 
is a 1954 tops whitey four beautiful baby blues on this one got a three the corners are uh pretty bad on this three but otherwise real good glad to have it it was the first vintage whitey ford card i ever bought and then sent it in so it could make my uh, PSA slabbed Whitey Ford PC. And certainly proud to have it in the collection. So there we go. We got next here. Uh, card number three. My third best Whitey Ford card is from one of my favorite autograph sets out there. This is 2003 Tops Retired. These cards were uh, encased here. They're like uncirculated. So there's these, you know, sealed by tops, encased cards, uh, on card autograph, beautiful, bold, Sharpie signature, this time of Whitey Ford. Now these cards are great and kind of highly sought after, but you might notice this one's a refractor. See that? See the shine? See the shine of Mr. Whitey Ford? The reason why, yes, these are the refractors. So these are numbered out of just 25. And if you know anything about the chairman of the board, he is New York Yankees retired number 16. So I actually got this uh, to his jersey number, number 16 out of 25. Really, really love this card. Oh, just like looking at it, just... Uh, Really crazy, refractory. I love the old school Tops logo. So yeah, that is the number two card in my, or I'm sorry, number three card in my Whitey Ford collection. Uh, card number two is Whitey Ford's second year. There's a 1953 Tops Whitey Ford. Beautiful, beautiful card. That's a great shot. I love these. I even like the Topps Living Set because it looks like this. A really great condition for this excellent five, but it's just this one, the, the lower left-hand corner that really gives me a, a, a ding on the uh, grading. But otherwise, phenomenal card, great centering, beautiful color. Oh, God, I love them. Like I said, I collect Billy Martin and Whitey Ford because I cannot afford to collect Mickey Mantle, so I collect his drinking buddies. So that's my second best Whitey Ford card in the collection. It was kind of funny. When I was a kid, I opened up a ton of 1989 Bowman. I think we all did. And every single pack, you got one of these. One of these... Uh, well, Bowman cards, remembering, you know, some of the best and most expensive cards Bowman had ever produced. And of course, I got a bunch of these. And, you know, back in the day, this was just an illustration of a bunch of cards that I would never, ever be able to afford, you know. So I uh, kept this card as a place filler in my collection since I'd never be able to afford a Whitey Ford rookie. Then... I became an adult, you know, saved a little bit of money, and I was able to get a Whitey Ford in a uh, Beckett vintage grading, BVG slab of a 3.5. I took the huge risk of busting it out of that BVG 3.5 holder and submitting it to PSA. So, ladies and gentlemen, my very best Whitey Ford card. It is his rookie. It's his 1951 Bowman, and it switched over perfectly. It didn't undergrade, didn't overgrade, got my 3.5 in PSA. So certainly glad to have it. This was like a bucket list item, actually getting one of those 1989 Bowman reprint cards into my collection. It's in really good condition, you know, for a 1951 and 3.5, but one of the cornerstones of my collection, one of my very favorite cards out there. So I don't know, just uh, thank you everyone for watching. This is my top 10 Whitey Ford cards in my collection. Very affordable Hall of Famer that you can collect fairly inexpensively. Uh, again, congratulations to Jerome, Yankees cards. I'll leave a link in the description below. And remember as always, collect what makes you happy.